Okay, I'm back. And um, so uh, to continue with where we were here, let's go back to our content. Um, class attendance doesn't mean too much for a distance learning class, but um, I left this in here, even though it may not be entirely appropriate, because class participation is very important. I do expect you to participate in the class on a regular basis. Um, this is a four credit class. Uh, when I went to school, I think we were supposed to spend two hours out of class for every hour in class. So that means three hours for every credit hour that you should spend. So three times four, that's 12 hours a week a day and a half a week that you should spend on this class. And I do expect you to spend it. Partly, a lot of it is on self-study and on study, but I also expect you to um, participate in the class to, um, um, a, a, because I think that's important, not just for you, but also to help your fellow students. Um, open source is about helping people. and. Um, so it's part of your obligation to your fellow students. Uh, OK. Our textbook here is um, Jason Eckhart's um, Linux Guide to Linux Certification third edition. And um, well, that doesn't come out too well. It's shiny, but that's the book. It's, as you probably know by now, extremely expensive. I apologize for that. But it is a very good book. It's good because it's, it's clear. Um, it's well worded and um, easy to read. Uh, next, hardware and software that you may need for the class. Basically, um, I've outlined the hardware and software that you may need for the class, but Linux is very light on its software demands. And talk to me if you don't have this hardware. We can make do with an awful lot of stuff. Um, I have ran Linux on machines as small as a 386 with 5 megabytes of RAM on a 16 megahertz machine, um, which is smaller than any machine any of you own, I suspect. So. Um, we may have to change some of the labs a little bit and stuff. We have that flexibility. Grading philosophy. I try very, very much to not to grade people against one another. I don't want this to, um, I'm not looking for competition. The power of Linux and open source and actually the free market is more in the ability for voluntary cooperation than it is competition. And um, so I, I'm not trying to grid people against one another. That's not a good thing to do. Here's my grading standards. They're pretty much the standard standards, except you notice that I'm extremely heavily on if you want an A, I don't care what percentage you have, you have to have all your work turned in. If you want to be, have no more than one missing assignment. For C, no more than two missing assignments. Um, and um, I do accept late work um, if it's r reasonable. I don't let you bunch everything up to the end of the term. But if things are continually coming in, even if they're late, I'll ding you a little bit for being late. and. Um, um, and it probably won't hurt your grade a whole lot, um, not unless you're continually late. And even then, you can get a good grade. Uh, just uh, 
um, remember uh, to keep things continually coming in. If they're a little bit late, we can live with that. Uh, the labs are the most important part of the course. As I've said before, I believe all the learning or most of the learning in the class takes place by you actually doing things and struggling with things and that takes place in the labs. I've really worked I really work on designing the labs to be a learning experience. They're much more important than the quizzes, much more important than the reading. Uh, the lab is where you will learn to actually do things. Uh, um, Academic integrity. This is boilerplated from other stuff, but um, and and I do believe in this um, very very much. Uh, we do not want plagiarism or tolerate plagiarism. On the other hand, um, it um, this doesn't mean that you can't work together. That you um, because we want people working together. We all make progress by standing on each other's shoulders and by helping one another. It's just that um, we give credit where credit is due. If you are using somebody else's idea, give credit for it. Don't try to pawn something off as your work when it's not your work. And don't copy people. Um, uh, use their assistance to learn what you're doing and then do it your own way. Okay, I've arranged everything chronologically by week. Um, some of these online classes are arranged by module. That's kind of nice because it makes it easier when the length of terms vary. But for students, I think it's easier to, if everything's labeled by week. So I've labeled everything by week. And then there is a schedule and we live by that schedule. Um, okay, that's that part. Next part is the schedule. Okay, here's the schedule. Print it out. Live by it. And um, print out the schedule as it appears. This is, I'm doing this before everything's finalized, so some of the things on this schedule could actually get changed a little bit um, by the time it gets published for the class. Okay. Um, next thing is the online rooms. We have online rooms where um, um, where we have um, um, where the various joint sessions will take place. These once again are entirely voluntary. Um, to in enter these online rooms you need to have Java and you need to have pretty good bandwidth. Um, and um, the, uh, and we'll go on to that later, uh, but uh, that's the way these work. And um, okay, going back to content. There's some general information: how to succeed in a class, quiz tips. Um, little thing, uh, a sample quiz, FAQs on just frequently asked questions, and a conclusion. Uh, conclusion is, um, um, oh, keep in touch with me. Um, um, let's all work together. Let the other thing. Let's have fun um, as much as we can because. Um, the only work worth doing is work you have fun on. Life is too short to waste your time with things that aren't fun. So, um, and I really truly believe that. Uh, that's, as one gets older, you see how short life is. Um, okay, the next section is uh, just an area of that I call floss resources, meaning. Um, 
Um, FLOSS stands for Free Libra Open Source Software. Um, more on that later. But, and I just put resources down here. One of the coolest resources here is actually something called Caligator. And um, Caligator is a local um, um, calendar of events. It was built by the local open source community, so it tends to be real heavily dotted with open source events. We will be referring to this a lot because in your last lab, um, says sometime during the term you're supposed to go to an open source event and report on it. So throughout the term you're going to need to refer to this, find an open source event, attend it, and then um, write up a short report on the event you attended. Um, this is just really a cool resource. We're so lucky in Portland that we have such a great um, open source community. Portland is really a, uh, it's the capital of open source in America, uh, and uh, that's totally cool. Uh, um, Seattle has uh, Microsoft and proprietary software. We have the open source world. It's cool. Okay. Um, and then from there on, we go on to the various um, weeks, and um, each week, ha each chapter has a lab. Um, in the case of week one, the lab will be very, uh, the first lab will be very short and kind of blends into being lab two, since there are two labs in one week. Otherwise, it's one lab, but one week. One lab, one chapter, one week. So, um, um, well, with that, I will end this presentation, uh, which is the introductory. It's week zero, and then I will start up again with the week one presentation. Thank you. Bye-bye. And here I am, signing off. Um, if I can figure out how to kill the video. <laughs>